Attacks motivated by white supremacy have been on the rise over the past decade. Here is a look at 11 major attacks. On July 22, 2011, Anders Breivik killed 77 people in Norway. He detonated a bomb on the government district of Oslo and then went on a shooting spree in a youth camp organized by the Labour Party. He said he was preventing an invasion of Muslims and fighting cultural Marxists and supporters of multiculturalism. Just over a year later, on August 6, 2012, a gunman opened fire in a Sikh temple in the US state of Wisconsin, killing six people and wounding four. Among the dead was the temple's president. Wade Michael Page shot himself before he could be arrested. On April 13, 2014, a former leader of the Ku Klux Klan shot three people to death at a Jewish center and retirement home in Overland Park in the US state of Kansas. None of the victims were Jewish, but the shooter, Fraser Glenn Miller Jr., said two of them were accomplices to the Jewish people and, quote, Jews were destroying the white race. The following year, on June 17, 2015, Dylan Roof shot nine people to death during a Bible study at a historic black church in Charleston in the US state of South Carolina. Roof said he wanted to start a race war and was, quote, concerned about black on white crime. On October 22, 2015, Anton London Peterson killed three people at a local high school in Sweden. He chose a school with a high percentage of immigrant students. The year 2017 saw a spike in the frequency of white supremacist attacks, especially in the United States, where Donald Trump had just taken over the presidency. On January 29, 2017, in a mosque attack, six people were killed and five were injured in a shooting in Quebec City, Canada. Alexandre Bisonnet was prompted by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's tweet saying refugees were welcome in Canada and diversity is strength. A month later, on February 22, 2017, Adam Purinton killed two Indian men who he had mistaken for Iranians, reportedly yelling, get out of my country and terrorists. The very next month, on March 20, 2017, James Harris Jackson, an American military veteran, stabbed a man to death with a sword in New York. He was part of a campaign to persuade white women not to enter into interracial relationships. On May 26, 2017, Jeremy Joseph Christian launched an anti-Muslim tirade on young women in a public train. When people tried to intervene, he stabbed two people to death and injured one. That summer, just outside of a mosque in the UK, Darren Osborne killed one person and injured nine others when he plowed his van into worshippers. He is reported to have shouted, I want to kill all Muslims. I did my bit. And just last November 27, 2018, in the US state of Pennsylvania, 11 people were killed and seven others were injured in a shooting at the Tree of Life synagogue. Robert Bowers pleaded not guilty, but he's accused Jews of trying to bring evil Muslims into the US and said that a refugee aid organization, quote, likes to bring in invaders that kill our people. 